Nigerian rapper Idris Abdul Karim has released a new song titled Emilokan. Aimed squarely at prominent figures, President Bola Tunubu, former President Buhari, and Pastor Adeboye. The song, which has already generated reactions on social media, shines a light on the dear struggles faced by Nigerians, including rampant hunger and economic hardship. Abdul Karim boldly reworked the familiar political slogan, Emi Lokan to Ebi Lokan, reflecting the cries of hungry Nigerians. Let's take a look. Emi Lokan, don't turn Ebi Lokan. Yorubas are screaming. Ebi Baba. Outsiders are crying. Unajinyua. Hebo brothers are saying. No blame them. Hebo's have been discriminated. Even food don't turn to gold in Nigeria. Kidnapping, lucrative business in Nigeria. Imagine seeing your grandchildren where they kidnap. By now, your soldiers for don't scatter Nigeria. How come a man won't get money for ransom when they kidnap him, his wife, and his children? After everything, we na kill. Okay, so that song was just released recently. Um, in case you don't know who Idris Abdul Karim is, he's a Nigerian hip hop artist. He has been around for decades. He actually released another song targeted at the Nigerian government called Nigerian Ga Jaga Jaga. Everything scatter, scatter. That was so, 2004. 2004. Yes. Oh, yeah. so, so, exactly. So this is not the first time he's you know singing about. Um, no, no, but but in all reality, yes, people have qualms with Idris. You remember his debacle with Fessos Kiamo, and Kiamo was saying that, oh, it was because he came to ask him for something he didn't give, because he did a remix of that song recently before he now released this one. Yes. But yes. I've always asked, and I put something up on my Twitter, I said, please, point at one lie in Idris's song about Ibiloko, as we speak today. Point out one lie. You can't. Whatever your problems with the Idris is directly apt. President Tinubu took money, part of the supplementary budget last year, to refurbish the presidential villa and all of that, and the home of the vice president. When they were refurbishing that one, they did not remember that they were going to take extra 21 billion to complete the home of the VP. Today, he said he wants to buy jets. That one is there. They took 90 billion for Hajj. I hear they want to borrow another amount of money now. They borrowed two point something billion came in. At the same time, we've not been able to address the outcomes of food insecurity, poverty, and hunger. Right. I was talking to a friend yesterday, and the friend was lamenting to me that how is it possible that 2 million Naira is about 800,000 CFR? So, in the first one year, we will score him very low. And I'm not going to even score him alone. I'm going to score collectively the APC. This economy was over 500 billion. It was projected that if Nigeria kept on growing, 7, 8% mark, we're going to be close to a trillion GDP then. As at that time, we did the rebasing. Today, Nigeria has lost half of that GDP to 253 billion. The APC has destroyed the economy of this country. It's been bad for economy. So please, I give you a challenge. Point out one lie out of Idris Abdul Karim's song. Let's have a debate. <laughs> 